Emma's gone and taken the dogs for a walk. <clears throat> she's been to Greg's and she's got us um, teas and coffees. We've woken up in um, a services. Because basically, sometimes it's just easier to pay £15 to park on the services for 24 hours than it is to find a parking spot, especially at 4 a.m. in the morning. Right, now we're going to head up to Loch Lomond, meet up with Paul and his yellow van, and then go troll hunting. And we got all the sausage rolls, and possibly a mince pie or two. Right, we're on the road, heading to find a big yellow van somewhere in Scotland. Oh, look who's ringing me! Look at him! He's just done his springs. There he is! There he is! And a big yellow van! <laughs> So, we're on the hunt, we're trying to find someone. Who do you think we're trying to find? If we're hunting. Well, they know that because we've told them we're going to find the trolls. They've gone to a location we have sent them to. Let's hope we found it. It's a bit bumpy. A little bit rickety. What? A little bit rickety. <laughs> Is it a bit bumpy for you, mate? Paul's van's literally things are falling on him. <laughs> you shut all them cupboard doors. <laughs> Nearly there. <laughs> we found them at last. I heard you got lost. Morning after we got here, we arrived, we got to the destination. Um, did have a few beers last night. Dolly's got a hangover. Emma's uh, attempting to get dressed. Um, but last time we were away with Paul, um, he gave us some of these. Now, yes, they may look like bags of drugs, but they're not, believe me. The fire lasers. Um, these things are great, like literally, they're so good. Hey mate, got some uh, some gear here if you want it. Yeah, mate, got I'm loads there. of them. How, how many? How, um, the, the, I think they're 30s. Oh, right, Fr right. Friends rates. Nice what have you got going on there? A mushroom and chicken risotto, my love. For who? For all of us. My turn tonight. Boy, can she cook. Paul done. Thai red curry last night. Our turn to cook tonight. Well, Emma's turn. I've washed a couple of dishes. Yes, you have. Thank you very Just much. Just a couple. Look at that. Ooh. And we've given Paul the garlic bread. He's doing the garlic bread. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Chicken risotto dinner. <laughs> Who said you can't cook posh meals in a van? Nice one-pot dish, isn't it? That is stunning. So, in true Neil and Emma style, what's going on out there? Rain. Raining. Oh, you rain. raining? It's just rain. Constant rain. Good, isn't it? Told you not to sing.
I'm not impressed with this rain. We've got nice heaters to fit, haven't we? We have got a heater Job. to fit. We've got jobs to do. But, but that can wait till tomorrow if, you know, just whenever the weather suits. We've done without for three years. We can manage one more night. We will have a night feeder. Feeder? We will have a nice heater fitted tonight. So we're going to move. We are in this lovely little location. Um, it's strange because yesterday this was heaving. You couldn't move in here. Halloween. Halloween, I don't... Halloween. Mm. Yeah, probably a lot of people are out with the kids while us lunatics are in the woods. Mm. I think I'd rather be in the woods. So we're going to move from here. Paul's getting ready. Emma's sorting our van out. Mazzy's sorting their van out. What? Emma's sorting our van out. Oh. Alright, I'll let you off. Testing, testing, rubber duggy, it's a big fat fucky. <laughs> so, Glenmore campsite. Which was £22 a night, which is kind of reasonable. We have landed on the campsite and we are in a YouTube triangle. Um, Paul has been baking cakes. More cakes. Let's give it a go. That, do you know what? That man in that van knows how to bake a cake. Not just a cake, but he does anything. He's um, an ad he's, he's not, not far off as good as Emma. And she can bloody cook, believe me. I mean, I'm not thin, am I? So I'm hoping the uh, rain isn't spoiling the lens, but uh, what campsite is this? You remember? Glenmore campsite? Yeah. The big Scottish campsite, that's what this is, by, um, by Aviemore. Just where the ski resort is, it's at the bottom there. You can camp in the forest, legally. I mean, it cost, costs, you know what I mean? It's not free. Oh, but there's certain places you can't park because this bit here is of scientific interest. So scientific? Is that what that science is? Yes. So they asked you not to camp in this part. She does the reading. Yeah. I don't do the reading. <laughs> no. <laughs> not instructions. Nope. Not signposts. Nope. Not informational boards. Nope. <laughs> Law. Nope. Advisors, no. Nope. Hey, don't don't bring the law into this. Why? I fought the law. The law won. I am the law in this house. We're in a forest, you knob. But this is our home at the moment. Well, it's not. It's a scientific area, so jog on, foresty forest. <laughs> you, Emma's done something. We're going to go see the reindeers. If you speak to Jeff and Pixie from Always Van Adventure, apparently we are sharing, Paul. Yeah, shared custody, so we're still adopted. Let's just go and find these bloody reindeer. Off we go into the reindeer paddock. Oh, right, yeah. I know, but then it's the tickets that way. She's been on the mushrooms. There's massive mushrooms around here. She wants to adopt Paul, she wants to adopt reindeer. We don't know what's going on. They're just goats with big horns. No, they're not. Look at his horns. 
There's a donkey up there. That's not. That's not a donkey. It's <laughs> a donkey. It's not a donkey. There's a duck. Now that's that's a reindeer. Donkey, goat, white goat, donkey. Apparently they shared the antlers. So you're loads of YouTube donkey. It's not a donkey. It's a reindeer. Yeah, but look at the duck in the um Oh, he's looking at me now. <laughs> Santa has his reindeer. They pull the sled, yeah. And then they get here. They have a little stop off. Santa has a little cup of tea. A little whiskey maybe, I don't know. And then he swaps out the reindeer. And then the, those ones come and have a little rest. While the other ones fly his sled a little bit further on. It, it's not rocket science. Also, another fun fact is reindeers are chameleons. In the spring months their coats go white it's like a bleaching effect and they shed the horns and then in the april the april march they start regrowing the horns and stuff i've just read it on the wall in there pardon if it's on the wall it happens so the best thing about these reindeers is they come with a lounge now i kind of like the lounge area i mean she's out there you know, getting off over reindeers, which, you know, okay, they're pretty and all that, but, oh, they lovely chair, just wonder if it's made out of reindeer. It's a little miniature of Neil, your little pudding. Sit in the seat. For Christmas, <coughs> you make too much noise. I can't Santa's breathe. noisy. I think you broke my legs. Pudding. I, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'll go and see if I can um, talk to the reindeer. <laughs> did he suit me? I think they do. The eyes are the only part of the reindeer that aren't that isn't covered in hair. I mean, let's be honest. How many animals do you know? that have got hairy eyes. The reindeer is the only mammal with a completely hairy nose, which prevents frostbite. You didn't know that though, did you? Hey, smarty. You've got Snowflake, May, Willow, Aza, but then whatever, Hilda, Edith, Moon. I get all them names. I understand all them names, but who in the right mind calls a reindeer tuna? What are you doing? It's none of your business. She's up to something. Just have to do because it doesn't quite fit. You made me a hat. I did. They're the bull antlers. She's made me a hat. That's what she was doing. <laughs> so are you trying to say I look like a reindeer? Yes. But they're bull antlers. I picked your bull antlers out, not the cow ones. Even though you can be a bit of a cow. Oh yeah. Ah. So you're trying to say that I look like that thing? Yeah, just a bit more furry. <laughs> this hasn't got antlers, this has just got twigs. It's a yearling. It's a twigling. It's a yearling. It's a twiglet. It's not. It's just growing, it's a little baby, it's like a puppy. They're called yearlings. A puppy? Basically, yeah. You know. Really? <laughs> so, can we go and get dinner now? No. Marzi's cooking dinner. Oh, okay. I'll let you. Thank you. Take the Mac into the store. Fingers crossed. I can smell Subway, but I've seen a burger thing. Chili cheese bites. We've got to go in there. It's a no. We've now got two choices. We can either go to Edinburgh or 
we can go to Aberdeen because it needs to go to an actual Mac place to fix it. Do you think it's the screen? We don't know what it is wrong with the screen, but it's a screen. So back to the van, back up to Dan and Mazzy and Paul and negotiate life from there. Do you want a burger king to feel better, babe? <laughs> that was a waste of time. But at least we got um, chili cheese bites. So, girls are happy, they've got new coats. And toys. And toys. So, let's get to the campsite. Hello, I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> Made it to the pub, haven't we? <laughs> it's technically our last night with Dan and Mazzy, so we've come to the put that back. Thank you very much. Carry on, anyway, you're vlogging. Hello. And I'll tell you what, this is a really nice little pub, isn't it? Yeah. And we've got two more nights here. We, this is the, the Pine Martin. Um, if we didn't have to go and get the Mac fixed, we'd probably stay another two nights. <laughs> we will be back in January when it's taller than Emma in snow. Right, so we, we can't go nowhere. Someone spotted Emma. No. Yeah, Someone that's... spotted Paul and Paul's van. And by me. You can't even see Paul's van from here. You're stupid. So much your face. see Paul's van. About as much as you can see your face. Shut up. Have a drink, have we? Oh no. It's Paul, little dude. Look at friend, Our friend gave us this. Our, our rental shop downstairs is called Snow Badger's oh, Rentals. So uh, this, is a, this is a snow badger, not a regular badger. Has he got a name? Well, we've not actually named it. It's just oh. a snow badger. Probably the only fair snowman in the world. Is it male or female? <laughs> <laughs> that bit's been uh, taken out of the equation, I'm afraid. Well, that's a male connector going into a female. Oh no! Right, so the theremin was the first electronic musical instrument, and our friend gave us this when we opened the bar because he's a weirdo. And so. <laughs> Is that an Irish musical instrument? <laughs> Oh, that's just weird. I know, I know. Our friend was like, guess, guess what it is? No, I've never heard of oh. it. But yeah, if you give it like, it's the theremin was like the first electronic musical instrument, and he decided to just stick it inside a badger. You actually said you wanted to be a DJ before. <laughs> never going to see one of these anywhere outside the, this bar. We are leaving the trolls today. We're going to Edinburgh. Um, and fingers crossed, we're booked into Apple tomorrow. Um, and we can get the Mac sources. Um, it's just a pain. But, nothing you can do about it, is it? It's one of them things. Emma's messing with batteries. Well, it's goodbye until next time time. Next time time. What, what? 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 It's goodbye until next time time. Time time? Yeah. Goodbye bye. Yeah. Until next time time. Something like that. She's stupid. Who's stupid? What? Who did you say was stupid? Cuckoo. No. Anyway. Stupid. Anyway. We're leaving. These oh, two. Anyway, we're leaving them now. Say bye bye. What's happened, babe? We've uh, got a flat battery. Empty here. Empty here. Right, 
Thank you, Mr. Paul. No problem. Surprised he didn't film that. Yeah. Good job. Missed out.